Hi everyone, my name is Carlos Mendoza. And my name is Daniel Martinez Lopez, and we're going to talk about how to become your own boss. Hi everyone, we're here to talk about how to become your own boss. Maybe you are struggling to make money or you're just tired for working for someone. And for this reason, we create this, this TED Talk. The first thing you need to know is that there's no formula for you to become rich tomorrow or maybe next week. It will require a lot of effort and a lot of time. You spend years working day by day at jobs that makes you feel unfulfilled and uninspired. But you're ready to make a change. You want to be in control all over your economical situation and you want to be in charge of all your family. So that's why we give you these steps for you to make success and finally become your own boss. Well, 85% of the population are employees. This means that they depend on other person in order to receive a salary. On the other hand, we have the remaining 15% that is divided in two. 13% of the population does not have a job and the other 2% of the population are their own bosses. As you can see, this is a significant difference between people who are working for someone else. There is a magnificent phrase that says, if you were born poor, it is your parents' fault, but if you grown poor, it is your fault. Robert Kiyosaki. I became my own boss by the age of 16, but not in the way you think. I didn't create an app or I'm, I haven't worked a significant company. For me, being my own boss means having control of my own priorities. And since everything is very difficult, I started from the bottom. I have worked since I was six years old. I've done literally everything from being a butcher to a helper of an electrician. And since I am underage, I didn't receive a complete salary. And it's pretty frustrating that you don't receive that salary. You gotta do a lot of work and you gotta pay attention to all the things that your boss tells you and you gotta complete those actions. So it's pretty frustrating that you are always working and you receive a miserable salary. Then I started thinking about teaching math because it is a subject that I like and I'm good at it. So a lot of my st students told me that I should give classes. And it was pretty relaxing that for the first time I decided when to work and how much money was my payment. So for the first time I was having control of my own priorities. That's why from then on, I started to be in my own job. Then one of my students offered me a new type of job and he invited me to a big conference in Cuernavaca. It was about Forex, a way in which you can invest your own money in several currencies, cryptos and commodities. And it is pretty fun actually, since I'm good at math, I'm good at calculating all the results. So for me, it's pretty easy to make that money. And my own money works for myself. So I'm not working the entire day. I just work from 10 minutes to 30 minutes, so for me it's pretty relaxing and, and I enjoy it. But how do you make this dream reality? Maybe you have a skill set that is viable to do a career in, but you're not taking that faith. You're not allowed to make that step because of your parents or someone else. You gotta face your fears and do it, please. So now we're gonna give you several steps in order for you to become your own boss. The first step is determine what you want to do. You need to find and select something that you are good for and you are passionate about it. A key example that I can give you is that the first thing you have to do is sort your ideas. Know what your strengths are and weaknesses. Know how much time you are going to dedicate to the business and how much time you are free time. The second step is evaluate your idea and the market. You must think about the type of public you are going to offer your product. The second step is to evaluate your idea and the market. You must think about the type of public or market you are going to offer your product to make sure there aren't any similar ideas or at least not very similar near your community in order to be able to compete. The process of determining if you'll be successful is called validating your business idea. It involves determining whether or not your idea is actually viable and, make, and taking a look at the market you hope to conquer. The third step is to make the switch. Lose your fears. There are going to be people who are not going to share your idea or will criticize it in a bad way. But you must maintain your mentality that your idea is the best. The fourth step is to consider your own strengths and weaknesses. You must be sure objective when deciding what you are good and also the things you are not. This is for you to have a very solid structure for your, for your idea. I recommend you to evaluate your emotional state and evaluate your skill set and abilities. 
The step five is to create a plan for your business. You need to have a plan that it must include why, when, and how to start your business. The last step is get your finances in order. When you start earning money, you need to make sure that you are having control of it. Do not let greed beat you. Now is the time to strengthen your financial situation, if it needs to be. This could be speaking with an accountant or bookkeeper, setting up bookkeeping software and familiarizing yourself with it, setting up a business bank account and so on. Now we have four more questions for you. Do you work better for small moments throughout the day or do you prefer to work for long periods at a specific time of the day? Do you work better in complete silence or do you like the atmosphere of a cafeteria to work? Do you have to go to an office to work or are you disciplined enough to perform your duties from home? And the last one is, what depletes your energy? Once you understand your main strengths and how to get the best out of yourself, your new company will look more and more like you want and have in mind. Finally, understand that you are the only obstacle to make a change. If you're really tired of doing something, why not make a change? Why not trying a new thing that will benefit you and will benefit a lot of people? Lose your fears. There will always be people making fun of you. There will be bad comments, but it depends on you if you want, it, if you want them to make them good or stay the same. You need to reach success by working hard and not wasting your time.